cannot advise, we are not competent to advise even the opposition. I was in Azimio, and for the sake of these working men and women, I was the first person to decide and to accept that changes have been made, and changes must be accepted if they have been made. And for the benefit of tribalism arrangement, because we work with government employers and workers, we must join uh, President William Samoy government. Because as we go to Geneva, that is under the Kenya government's delegation. Even Okwa Roya is in Addis Ababa, it's a tripartite meeting, it's led by the Minister for Labour or somebody from the Minister of Labour. So we have got to work with the government because it presides over all our tripartite meetings. That is why we did. Some people thought I had uh, which is not true. We can't do that. And if the President, in his own rightful thinking, and uh, uh, the Honorable uh, former Prime Minister, uh, uh, my brother-in-law, Raila Amododinga, they decided to make sure that uh, some a party from Azimio, where I was, uh, must contribute to the stability of the country. I'm not, I was not private to it and I was not competent and I'm not competent to say it was wrong. But what I want Kenyans to realize is this. This freedom that you see people being appointed from the opposition, it was not brought by any other person apart from Raila Amodotina. People should know that. And there is no any day Raila will let Kenyans down. That's what I want you to understand. This is a man who suffered the mother was buried when he is in jail. This is a man who had condemned to death because of politics. And not once. Three quarters of his life. His health. He's not as healthy as some people might think. It's because this man was confined in jails, in cells, and he had compatriots outside fighting along with him. People like Joseph Martin Shikuku, who died a poor person, fighting for freedom. People like James Orengo, when he started when he was in the university. Yeah, the five sisters, if you can remember, those days. People fought, died. George Anyona is no longer there. People who fought for this freedom, you people, you are enjoying. People died. Literally. People like Obama Reese who fought for this independence. Huh? People like the Muzen Zenge who fought for this freedom. So that you can be able to choose to get into government and nobody can say you can't work in government. This is the freedom we wanted. Kenya is ours now. You can be in the opposition and you go to government and you become a minister. It wasn't there. So those, uh, you know, people who are saying, oh, uh, as me or the Jew, or oh, Raila let down people. Where were they? Some of them, when I read their messages, they were academicians. They were earning from the university, agitating from anywhere else. They were enjoying with their wives. When Raila Mododinga was under bars. When he was castrated. Yeah, when he, when he was going under a lot of pressure and problems. So what we are trying to say is, let this country be the way it is. Give the president freedom to choose anybody he wants to be with, comfortable in the government, so long as there is stability in our country. Let's not condemn and say, oh, Raila did a big mistake, did this. And it is what he fought for. Yes. Huh? Yes. What these young men are doing now, it is what he has been doing. Even as recent as after these elections, he was on the streets. He has never abandoned Kenyans because of this country. And it is the time Kenya government should put him on high salary without working. <laughs> yeah. For the contribution he made. Yeah. Where are all these people? If you see anybody condemning them, ask these people, where are you? When he was being put in jails, 
It was not easy. His father suffered. At one time they were all detained by with his father together. For those people who have history of this country. Huh? My sister Ida was chased from government jail because of his or her husband. Everybody, that family has suffered. Until late for those people who know that Raila's son was going to be an MP for Kisumu. Fidel. Nobody can tell us how Fidel died. This one. Your son you love dying. And nobody explains to you somebody who was alive. He greeted me on that day. I met him. The boy. Pallet Nakuda Samaki Uko Nairobi. And the following day I'm told the boy is dead. And the family doesn't talk. Who has undergone that? These other passengers who want to blame him or you are doing this and that. Look at the qualities of people who have been appointed in the government. Yeah? What I was pleading with the president, that some slots now should be for the youth. That's what I was saying. But for the opposition working in the government, there is nothing wrong. These people are competent. All of them, those people who are appointed. And that is the government we need. Not government with a fixed mind. The fixed mind to the Torah and the new constitution. Yes. Yeah? Freedom of choice is what this man suffered for. And now you can choose to work with the Ruto, you can choose to work with whoever can so and so on. But you should not apportion a blame to anybody else. That's what, the, what it calls freedom of association, freedom of choice, freedom of choosing. Thank you, thank you so much. So I think it's now time to go for.